Hello guys, and this is POB. I'm sorry I haven't uploaded in a while. I just been doing a load of different stuff, which has mean, which has meant that I haven't been able to do as many songs or anything like that recently. So I haven't been able to like upload and stuff because I recently got a new computer, and as you can see, I have now got FL Studio. Yep. So I've had quite a lot of fun with this, and today I am going to show you a tutorial on how to make a something just fell on the floor. How to make a big room kick without any sort of different plugins or any different things. So what I've noticed is that you see a lot of YouTube videos with that that do this and they just have they contain like massive or nexus and stuff which is really quite expensive plugins and sometimes you just don't have enough money to just to get that. I mean that's definitely the case for me. I mean I'm still a teenager so but um yeah so first thing we're gonna do so once you open up FL Studio this is pr the producer edition uh, this is the one that many people normally get first off because it's just it's basically got everything a couple a couple of plugins don't have a couple of plugins aren't included but hey it doesn't really matter so firstly what you want to go to do is go to packs kicks and then 808 kick which is that really deep kick so what so you're gonna you're just gonna want to click that a couple of times. Now this will require you to have some sort of sound editing software with you. So you I will use our Audacity simply because I, I like it. I mean there's the oh, what's it called? It's like the slice X thing or something on this one. Um I, I just haven't learned how to use it yet, so I'm just gonna stay and just use Audacity. So what I'm gonna do I'm going to do that, and I'm going to open an Audacity window. So if I open that, and then one sec, so 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 yep, and then I am going to just quickly go back on FL. I'm going to start recording on Audacity. I'm going to go to FL, and I'm just literally just going to click that. So I now have the recorded in audacity so what what I want to do I want to shorten the length of this so I'm just gonna zoom in just make sure it's all nicely trimmed that seems pretty good and what you're gonna want to do you're probably going to want to take it quite far forward you're gonna want it to be probably 0 0.8 is what I normally do so 0 0.8 and then literally for the last tenth of a second just put like uh, a fade out on it and you'll get you'll get the same sort of sound but it'll just be a lot shorter and this is going to be useful for the kick so you're going to want to export that just to a folder where you you'd know where it's going to be and save it as something that you want to do so let's go back to FL now, so one sec. So FL, and what you're gonna want to do, channels, audio clip, and in, into that audio clip, uh, go and find your, go and find the sound that you've just selected. So kick short, there you are, and then I've got that sound again. So okay, this time what you're gonna want to do is open it up to a mixer so if I just do that and then it says it lights up to a track so what's that? great okay um don't worry so yep delete that it, it sometimes just messes up a bit and what are you gonna wanna do so kick short it's just gonna sound just like sound just like that so 
I'm going to just fully each the whole step, so like that. Now, you need four different FL plugins to make this sound like a like an actual like big room synth the bass drum sort of thing. So the thing that you're gonna wanna do is firstly you're gonna wanna open the compressor as I've done here. You'll want to turn the ratio to nineteen no 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 seventeen point nine one. Okay. Uh gain uh depends how loud you want your drum. I normally put it at about five. Type go vintage because it's quite a nice, rich sounding one. Release just go down like to one millisecond and attack down to one millisecond. And you can already see like it's starting to get a little bit louder almost. So yeah, I'm gonna leave that up. Okay, the next thing you're gonna want to do is a pretty fast distortion. I think this little one here, and um, you're gonna want to turn the pre delay up quite far. Kinda gonna sound a bit weird right now. Uh, the threshold really far back, like really far back. Mix far back, and the post keep it there, and then you get this sort of rich, deep sound, like a growling sort of noise, which you could literally just use these two together. But um, if you want to take it a little step further, the next one you need to do is the parametric EQ2, so this little one here, right, you want to take the 1, put it down to uh, about 50 hertz, or about 40 hertz, okay, so deep down there, it's quite low, um, this one you're going to want to take quite high up to about 50 hertz, something like that. Uh, and this one you're gonna want to take about 48 hertz, and that one you can just drag over there. So frequency for number one, you're gonna pretty much leave it there. Frequency for that one, that's gonna be fine. Frequency for that one, that's fine. Bandwidth for this one, turn it fully up. Bandwidth for number two, turn it fully up, and then bandwidth for this one, turn it up a little bit, and then you get a lot more bass to it. I don't know why I chose that, but um, yeah. So the last thing you're gonna want to do is open a limiter file, and with the limiter, you're going to want to the yep turn the compressor on gain all the way up saturation down about here that gives it like a fuzzy sound like a warm well like compare that to that's really due to your taste I normally put it on there so yep like that threshold you want to put it about there ratio about one one eight one I think something like that and the knee just literally just twenty twenty or thirty percent just something like that uh release you want to put them to quite short about this much uh ahead you want to turn off and there you go that's your that is the big room drum now got a big impacting drum that you can just add a melody melody into it if if it's if you find like it's too loud for the for the, like the melodies and stuff that you're gonna put on it then literally just go to the compressor and turn it back just to zero decibels on the gain and it should make it a lot quieter so yep that is a tutorial on how to make a big room like kick in FL Studio without using any external plugins. So this is Pierre B with another tutorial. Peace out.